from the kiln, I need to get a bisque fire going and start blazing. I just got home from glazing. A lady at the coffee shop gave me a flower. And I brought a whole bunch of stuff with me to finish glazing with hopes of having all of these glazed by the time the bisque is done. I'm gonna throw today as well. And also I made some coasters last night, so I'm gonna finish cleaning those up. And right now it's lunchtime. So I'm gonna take a quick break in the sun and then get to it.
it's Thursday. I just got to the kiln. I'm going to unload the bisque fire and then glaze and then load it right back up again. I have a commission that I want to get done by Monday and some other test pieces with all the new glaze colors that I got. So I'm just trying to justify a kiln load. So I'm really packing it in. Um, so it'll be a long day of painting, but I'm very excited. I spent some time yesterday glazing and I just can't wait to see how all the colors look together because I think it could be really cool. I feel like it's nice to be excited about the glazing process because most times it's not my favorite, but now I'm like pumped. So I'm going to ride that high and get to glazing. Hello, happy Friday. I finally have a date for my spring pop-up. So now I'm just working towards finishing pieces for that. I have some stuff I need to trim this morning and some stuff I need to throw. I'm trying to unlock my iPad and it doesn't want to listen to me. Um, I've pretty much organized my calendar for the next two and a half weeks of what I need to make so that I can have two wish weeks to glaze and also prep. I probably don't need that much time to do those two things, but I want to leave room for glazing because I know it always takes so much longer than I anticipate. And I also am doing more and I have more colors that I want to utilize. So it's just going to be more time consuming design. And I want to focus on that part more so than having like a hundred things on my table. Not really, but um, yeah. So limiting the quantity, but definitely ramping up design and color range and all of that. So very excited. And I was a little overwhelmed last night, but after I like mapped out my game plan, 
I was like, oh, this is actually very doable. I can do this. <laughs> and I'm very excited, especially after seeing some of the other pieces that I've taken out of the kiln lately. I have some firing now with like all of the colors I've been testing over the past few days. So I can't wait to see how those turn out. And I feel like seeing those will really help me uh, visualize from what I'm making on the wheel, how it's gonna look in the end and really uh, make a good canvas for the glazes, essentially. So I'm pumped. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 different kinds of things to make. I think four of those I'm willing to nix if time allows. I made a little, um, <laughs> priority uh, moment here so red like has to happen yellow is next up and then green is it's okay if we don't have those so I feel good with my <laughs> chaotic system that I've developed on this <laughs> stupid it's not stupid it's so great thank you Apple for designing this but it's like kind of chaotic, but this is my brain and it works to see it all here and have it all written down. Good news finished trimming and I love my new tumblers. I think they're gonna be my staple. I like how much bigger they are than I normally make. Very nice to hold. Will probably end up being like 14 ounces when they're finished. And I just left these plain because I wanna have more fun with glaze. So they're the perfect little canvas. The terrible news is my mom called as I had just finished and was on a high because I love them um, and said that the kiln wasn't on so I'm gonna go remedy that because she said she had looked not too long ago and it was almost at a thousand degrees and then she walked back out and it just like wasn't on plug was in breaker on nothing so I think that the plug just isn't connecting to the kiln at the moment there's a part where it actually goes into the box on the kiln and I think the screws are loose because she like lifted it up in a certain way and it came back on and was fine if she like left it in that position. So I think I just need to tweak with that and hopefully that will solve the problem. This isn't what I had planned for my little baby day. I'm gonna go get some matcha and a treat and make the most of this little break. <laughs> different mood that I am in now. I'm pretty bummed, pretty frustrated, and just sad because the kiln shut off mid-fire and come to find out it is not an easy fix, but essentially all the cords that attach to the relays and the plug which the relays pretty much tell the kiln to like keep raising temperature. Um, it all burned at the bottom <laughs> where they all meet. And I don't really know what that means. If there was a bad connection in just one of the relays and it threw everything off, but the kiln is out of commission. And I literally just went to the coffee shop before I went there and like confirmed the pop-up with <laughs> them and it's just funny how that happens i so much wanted to get a date on the calendar so that i could like yeah work towards this and now that's happened and now the kiln wants to not work so i did call the place where i usually go to take them when my kiln is acting up and they said they're not very busy this time of year which is comforting and hopefully that means i will still be able to like somewhat stick to a good schedule as far as making and getting things done. 
it does just mean that I now have to factor in glazing and also transporting a large amount of pieces to fill their kilns and just fire at once and I also will have to pay for them versus what I obviously just doing it myself so it's just more stuff to consider and it's not very close so yeah I'm gonna go throw and call that my therapy session for today I am bumped in a weird mixed emotion world right now and I'm just going to take all of that energy and go through and hope for the best because that's literally all I can do. Uh, yeah, Pottery Man really throws you some curveballs. Hello, it's Saturday. I have been up for a little while now and I just threw some candle uh, vessels because I could not <laughs> get them yesterday. I think I was just so frustrated and bummed by the kiln that some of my pieces were not a success and those were the ones. So I threw four of those. I had a couple more things that I could have thrown but it was cold outside I could not feel my hands um so I <laughs> left that to come and smooth out these sauce dishes that I made last night and these little um chopstick holders I'm just gonna draw a little smiley face on them um yeah so those will be for the pop-up that I'm doing in a couple of weeks and now that I have to take my stuff to get fired I feel like and there's a little bit more urgency just because the turnaround times are longer than if I were to fire the stuff myself. So I think I'm going to hold off on fixing the kiln until the pop-up is over. Um, one, because the money I make at the pop-up can help me fix it. And two, because I think I would spend a lot of time tinkering with it myself or having somebody come out to look at it that that would take away time from me actually making stuff for the pop-up so i think since i have the availability of a place to get them fired it doesn't seem as urgent 
I don't know. I might change my mind tomorrow. I'm just upset that it happened and yeah, just sad. So I'm gonna go finish this before my little coffee date and yeah, I think I might glaze the rest of my bowls and plates this afternoon so that I can take everything on Monday when the shop opens. I'm gonna make the best out of this that I can. Hello, it is Monday morning. I'm going to unload the kiln and then go and take those pieces that did not finish firing to the firing studio and drop them off. Mm -hmm. 